Hey everyone, this is Patrick from Code That Converts, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can add quick links on your Shopify store. So before we get started, let me just briefly go over what a quick link is. A quick link is essentially a link that, or a navigation link, that will lead you to either a different page internally on your site, or it'll lead you to a different page externally, as in outside your site. So let's say, for example, you're writing a blog post about comparing your product to a competitor's product. In that blog post, you might provide a link to your own product and a link to the competitor's product. In that specific example, the link to your product will most likely be an internal page link that will lead to a different page on your own site, and the link to the competitor's product will probably lead outside your site to the competitor's website. Now, using that same example, let's say at the bottom of each blog post, like that blog post and whatever other blog post you write, you wanna lead customers towards a specific call to action so that they can do something you want them to do, right? In that situation, you would have a link in the call to action. So both of those examples are two examples of how you can use quick links on your site to accomplish certain things. So now that we know what they are, we can finally talk about what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how to add quick links to various parts of your site, to your navigation menu, as well as to individual page content. So if you're new to Shopify and you've been wondering how you can add links to different parts of your site, well, this is the video for you and we're gonna get started right now. Okay, so we're currently inside of a preview of one of my test Shopify stores called Appless Wishlist. The store looks like this right here. I'm currently using the Shopify refresh theme, which is the Shopify 2.0 theme that any Shopify merchant should be able to have access to. So let's say I wanted to add a link to this product, the gemstone necklace in my main navigation as a quick link. Now you see I have five things in my main navigation and collections has a drop down inside of it. I wanna add this to the main navigation menu as a sixth item. So I'm gonna hover over this name, Gemstone Necklace. I'm gonna go to where it says online store in the Shopify admin and then head over to navigation. Now you see in here, I have two menus, the footer menu or the main menu. I also have the option to add a brand new menu but instead I will edit the main menu and I'm gonna add a new menu item, gemstone necklace. Now I have two options here. I can either grab the absolute URL of the product from the product page and paste it in like so. Hold on. One second here. Yep, there we go. I can paste it in like that and decide to add it in. Or what I can do is I can clear this out and I can look for it through Shopify. Look at products and then I can scroll to where it says gemstone necklace. Where are you? I think my face is blocking it. Here we go, gemstone necklace. So that's two, way you, two ways you can find the link. So sometimes Shopify can help you out like that and help you find the link. Other times you might have to paste in an absolute URL for the link. Or if the link is something external from your site, you're gonna have to paste in the absolute URL like I, like I sh you showed you just now. So I'm gonna save that. And sometimes this takes a second to pop up in the main navigation, so just bear with me. All right, hold on. Okay, after a lot of refreshing, I finally got it to show up. There it is, Gemstone Necklace. It's a new link to my navigation menu. So I'm gonna head over, head to home, and then I'm gonna click Gemstone Necklace, and boom, I can get to the page. So let's say I wanted to remove it from the navigation. All I would do is hop back into the navigation option and then just press delete. Or, if I wanted to move the link inside of a, another thing as a dropdown, all I would do is kind of indent the link inside of another one. 
like that. Let's say I wanted to put it underneath blog. I could do it just like that. So that's that's how you create drop downs in um, Shopify. But since I don't want to do that, I want to get rid of it. So I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna save. So that's how you add a quick link to a navigation menu. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a quick link to actual page content. And to do this, I have to go back to online store and then I have to customize the theme I'm currently working on. Now for this, I'm gonna assume you're using a Shopify 2.0 theme and that's what this tutorial is for, specifically people using Shopify 2.0 themes. If you have a 1.0 theme, you should still be able to follow along, but some of the steps might look different for you. So bear with me on that. So you can see I'm inside of my homepage. Let's say I wanted to make an adjustment to the blog post template. This is the default blog post template for any blog post that I write. You can see on the left hand side, I have a few options. I have one option called blog post. I have another option called email sign up, which brings us down here. Let's say I wanted to add a call to action at the bottom of my blog post using a quick link. What I would do is I'd add a section. Now, there's a whole bunch of sections in here. There's a specific section I'm looking for. I'm looking for a section called rich text. And you're gonna see why in a second. So I added a rich text section to my blog post template. I'm gonna drag it up on top of the email sign up. So inside of rich text, rich text I'm gonna put a heading that says, uh, check out our new offer. I'm gonna leave the body text inside of it. And instead let's focus on the button. I'm gonna change the label to say, grab your free thing. I'm gonna assume the words you put for this are gonna be much more compelling than mine. And right here, I have the option to give the link to the button, first button link. This second button label is if you decide to use two buttons, but we're only using one. So in here, I can put a link in the same way I did in the navigation menu. Either I can search it up, or I can directly copy and paste a link inside of this. So I'm gonna save this. And now I'm going to preview. The theme and let's hop over to a blog post. If you scroll to the bottom. Hey, look, check out our new offer. Grab your free thing. Boom. The link works. Awesome. Now let's say we didn't want to use a button. Let's say we wanted to actually put the link in the text. We can also do that. Now we can get rid of the button altogether by pressing remove block after we press button inside of rich text. And we can add the button back by pressing add block. So this text up here, this is important. You know you can add a link to some of the customizable text inside of Shopify if you see this insert link icon. I'm just gonna say, get your free stuff at this link. And I'm gonna highlight link and I'm gonna turn that into a link. Same thing we did before. Either you can search for the link through Shopify in here, or you can just directly paste the link in. And then you can have the option to have the link open in a new tab or open on the same tab. So I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna refresh this. I forgot to press insert to make sure the link is inserted. Make sure you don't forget to press insert right here after you put the link in. Press insert and then save. Now I'm gonna refresh. Boom. Now let's say I wanted it to open to a new page. I'm going to highlight the link again and click the option, open this link in a new window. 
This essentially opens it up in a new tab on your site. And this could be useful in certain situations. Hold on. I didn't wait for it to finish saving. There we go. It opens up in a brand new tab. This can be useful if you want to allow customers to open a link for reference, but you still want them to keep that same page they were on opened up. This is especially useful for like blog posts because once a customer navigates away from a page, there's not a good chance to go back unless they were compelled by the content. So it's always good to think about whether you want the link to open in the same window or if you want it to open in a new tab. So I'm gonna go delete this section now. All I have to do is click where it says rich text and just press remove section. Now there's another Shopify section you can use to do this. And the Shopify section is called image with text. So image of text is essentially just an image on the left hand side and text on the right hand side. And in that text, you'll see that same content thing that I showed you before that has the insert link icon right here. Whenever you see the insert link icon or whenever you see it has a button, you're able to insert a link to go wherever you want. Just an FYI. So even if you're not using one of the free themes that Shopify provides to you, and you're using a third party paid theme or you're using a Shopify 1.0 theme, if you see rich text or image with text and you see that either a button or a content box with that link icon, you're good to add a quick link there. All right, let me just remove that and I'm just gonna save it because I didn't actually want that to be there. Now, last thing I wanna mention before I move on you see all the work I did just now happened on this default blog post template, but this should work anywhere on your site, especially if you're using a Shopify 2.0 theme, like either the Shopify Dawn theme or the Shopify refresh theme, like any of the Shopify 2.0 themes that were built by Shopify, will be able to do this. So you can pretty much go to any page template, the home page, product page template, the collection page template, an actual page, like the contact page or something. It doesn't matter. You can pretty much go anywhere and you can decide to use that rich text section or that image with text section. And you'll have access to add a quick link. So like I said, any Shopify built theme is gonna have this functionality. And for a paid theme, I'm gonna assume most of them will have it, but that's generally what you'll look for when you're trying to add a quick link, that insert link icon or a button block inside the customizer. All right, last point I wanna make about this before I wrap it up. Uh, let's hop back to the homepage for this. So I just mentioned that when you're working with your theme, especially with the Shopify 2.0 theme, if you look for a section called rich text, or image with text, or if you see any references to a button block, or you see that insert link icon, that's a place where generally you can insert a quick link. Now, if you were to look through your homepage, there's a bunch of different Shopify sections on it. If you look through each individual block inside the section, like for example, image with text is the section, and each individual piece of it in here is a block for that section. If you look through a bunch of the different blocks, you can get a sense for which block can you insert a link and which block will not give you the ability to do that. Like for example, this collections list one won't give you the ability to do that. This multi-column one will technically. Anytime you see this icon or you see something talking about link or button, like I said, you can put a quick link there. But let's say there's a part of your theme that has a restriction that won't let you add a link or a button to it. Now, let's say you wanted to have that functionality. That falls into the category of what I'd like to call a theme customization. And if you're doing that, you have two options. Either one, you're gonna wanna pass it off to a developer to do, or if you're the type of Shopify merchant that can do things on their own and is not afraid to learn some new things, well, 
If you hop in the description of this video, you'll find a link to a different video I made called how to edit the theme code of your Shopify theme. That video talks about how you can edit theme code in a Shopify 2.0 theme. And it'll give you some tips and tricks to get started in order to make basic customizations like this one. If you wanted to have complete control over where you can add a link on your site. So if you're the type of merchant that's not afraid of that, that's also an option to you as well. So there you have it. In just a few quick and easy steps, you managed to add quick links on your Shopify store. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel and also hop over to our website at codethatconverts.com and join our email list. That way you don't miss any of the awesome content that I have planned to help you level up your Shopify store, get more engagement and boost your sales. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.